Hi, my name is James. I'm so excited about this video. It's about one of my favorite things I use in my clinical theater with CAD CAM. There's been three events in my career that are very significant. Impress back in the early 90s, Emacs, that really made a difference in my CAD CAM theater, particularly with posterior teeth, and now Mio 850. Mio 850 is made for Emacs. It's the wow factor of Emacs the reason why it makes it look so natural and aesthetic. This video is about taking a canine, pre-crystallized, adding the glaze and the colors in to create the wow factor. The workflow for this is so simple and it's very forgiving, it's easy to use. The colors are translucent, so it's hard to blotch them and it makes them look internalized with the glaze. The thing I like most about 850 is the glaze. One application of glaze and it looks so natural. It looks like that enamel surface that you've always dreamed about that I used to have to polish in with superficial gloss finishing. Now I get it with just a brush on the ceramic surface, pre-crystallized, and when that comes out, there's very minimal finishing I need to do. So it really has made my Emacs treatment in my clinical theater very efficient and that's what this video is about i'm so excited to share it with you let's go ahead and get started when preparing for your meal 850 experience we want to go in with a well-shaped ceramic knowing the texture you want to achieve placing in the texture so it blends in harmonious with the glaze and the final outcome is what you want. And the glaze is terrific with Mio 850. Go ahead and fill your ceramic with object fix. Make sure it's well filled and the margins are closed. We want to close the margins with the object fix for several reasons. Number one, to support the margins. It will also assure that we don't see glaze creeping in under that margin on the intaglial surface. The glaze that comes with the Mio 850 is excellent. You mix the jar before you dispense. There's another video for how to manage the Mio 850 system. With the wetting agent, wet your brush. You don't need to dilute the glaze. It pretty much is the right consistency. We'll compare it to latex paint. We don't want to see the brush strokes when we're applying, otherwise it's too thick, nor do you want to make it too thin. When it's used straight out of the jar, it's going to be pretty close to being right on. Our next step, when indicated for the case, is to apply characteristics. In Sazo characteristics, there's two shades. We have smoke, and then we also have storm. Smoke will decrease the value on that incisal edge and give you the illusion of translucency. We apply it approximately one half millimeter from the incisal edge and then work it down into the primary depressions, extending down the line angles to about half the height of the tooth. And that's if it matches the case in the mouth. The next step is storm. This is where the magic happens for incisal translucency. We highlight the area over the primary depression and it's gonna make that incisal edge just pop. We're keeping it one half millimeter from that incisal edge. The halo zone on the incisal edge can be highlighted with lumen. This is a high value application. Keep it a bead line on the edge. And notice on a canine in that midsection on the incisal edge, that enamel is thicker. So we don't see the translucency in that zone. So we can highlight it with a little more lumen. If it becomes necessary to apply cervical color, which is in the line of the dentinal shade, it depends on the translucency and the thickness of the ceramic. Such as this case, you can see that the natural dye representing the color of the prep provides a nice warm shine through influence that makes that ceramic look very alive. This is how I prefer to do it when I can. If we do add some surfco area, we can highlight that nice blend. Also, there's another concept 
for the proximal contact. We call that framing. And that's where we add a warmer shade, a little labial to the contact, but don't wrap around that line angle. It will make it look dirty and stay away from this technique on bleach shades. This is more for the natural look. Look at the teeth next door to see if they have that warmer inner proximal shade. One thing we want to notice, and often I'll see this on a canine right at the depth of the primary depressions, we'll see a little more cervical dental shade. We can add that at the depths of our primary depressions and it will make that tooth really look natural. If we add white, we're going to use snow. Here's the technique. What you see here is what you'll get once it fires. Be careful with snow. Look at the footprint of what you're trying to blend in on the adjacent teeth. And what you see here is what you'll get. Once you do this a number of times, you'll get a feel for how much saturation and effects to add to your ceramic. Here's our fired ceramic, and you can see a beautiful masterpiece. This is with one application of meal glaze, and then we surface mix into that glaze and float the colors around to get a really nice effect. We're almost ready to place our restoration in the mouth. We want to polish the margins. You'll see some micro glaze tags on those margins. We want that really nice and smooth. This is the medium polishing wheel in the JK03 Meisinger lab kit. I love that kit. It's a good quality kit. And thank you, Meisinger, for being so supportive through the years with great assets in our clinical theater. This is the natural dye. We make that, customize it to the shade of the prep. Make sure you wet it so it doesn't stick in the crown. This is made by Avaclair and it represents the color of the prep. And this just shows you how much influence that the prep will have on the ceramic for the final effect. I have really enjoyed Meal 850. It's made a huge difference in my clinical efficiency. In most of my anterior cases, I'm applying this before crystallization and getting really close to the blend I want. Then we use try and paste for the final blend and we have magic happening. Wow, thanks for spending the time watching this video. Meal 850 puts the wow factor into Emacs and this video demonstrates how simple it is to use. It's very forgiving and it's gonna create a great result. It has significantly impacted my clinical theater, getting these Emacs restorations into the mouth in a very short, efficient period of time using extra fine mill and meal is very, very, very fast. Minimal adjustments, if any at all. And we can get the delivery of our Emacs in the clinical theater in a very short period of time. So thank you, Jensen. Thank you for meal 850. I will place other videos up on the site with various applications of the Mio 850, particularly when we're doing multiple anterior teeth, customizing that beautiful look so we can use our monolithic high strength ceramic without cutback, but get a cutback natural look. That's what 850 Mio is all about. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you post them below. I'd love to hear what you have to say, and I'll see you folks in that next video. Bye now.